There are approximately 3,000 trout per mile on the Crooked River. This video is about how to catch them. In addition to all those trout, the river also has a healthy population of mountain whitefish. And if you fish the Crooked River, you will catch your fair share of whitefish, just like the one you see jumping out of the river right here. So I don't know why, but I'm always just a little disappointed when I look in the net and I see a whitefish instead of a native trout. But having said that, they do fight really hard and that does make them a ton of fun to catch. And it, it's just part of the experience on the Crooked River. So here's a nice looking little trout. And this guy's a really good example of the type of fish that you will catch most often on the Crooked River. The average size of trout caught is eight to 10 inches. Good news is, they're everywhere and you will catch them all day. So there are some big trout in the Crooked River like the one you see here. This is one that I caught and you can see me catch him in a, one of my other videos if you check out my channel. So these smaller trout, as I said, really are everywhere. The best fishing is on the first 10 miles just below the Bowman Dam. In that section of the river, if you look at any run, riffle, or pocket water, you will find rainbow trout. So the Crooked River has good hatches of mayflies, midges, and caddis. And since it's a tailwater fishery, it's also home to a, a variety of different scud species. The camping's also great along the Crooked River. There's a variety of different campgrounds. Here we're setting up camp uh, for the night. We put up a string of lights, started a fire, uh, opened some wine, and had a nice evening. Uh, the next morning, I was back on the river and second day I did a little better as far as size of trout. So in terms of what types of flies to use, small mayflies, midges, scuds, even worms, they're all good on the Crooked River. By far, nymphing is the most productive way to catch fish on the river. You can go with a dry dropper rig or a double nymph system, whichever you like. Um, as far as specific nymphs to use, uh, a lot of people are using a zebra midge. I'll give you some more in just a second, but this fish that you see me hooked into here, this guy almost took me out to my back and I thought he was a monster uh, when we got him in the net. He's a decent trout, but um, nothing, nothing giant. We only got one picture of him, which you'll see in a minute. So anyway, zebra midge, uh, beadhead paragon nymph is good. Uh, I've got a friend that swears by Copper John. That's pretty much all he takes. Um, hare's ear nymph and either tan or olives good. Um, bead body scud's great. I've got a whole separate video on that. Um, also bead head pheasant tails in brown, also an olive, and always have an elk hair caddis. Always make sure and give a call to one of the local guide shops before you go. There can be a lot of algae on the river sometimes and you want to make sure you don't get into that. I like to call the hook fly shop in Bend. And if you're interested in a recommendation for a really good guide for the Crooked River, I recommend Brian Salaz. You can also contact him at the Hook Fly Shop. Have fun, guys, and check out my other videos.